Thanks for joining us this morning. Hello, I'm Lee Jun in Seoul, coming up on today's broadcast of Business Daily. We take a look at how currency swap deals can help the Korean economy and the Asian economy as a whole. The effect of Hallyu, or the Korean wave, is still very much helping homegrown industries rake in large profits and even create more jobs. We have these stories and more coming right up. A number of bills aimed at reviving the Korean economy have been put on hold again due to political wrangling at the National Assembly. Out of the 30 economic revitalization bills the government has urged Parliament to pass since last year, nine yet again failed to receive a stamp of approval in the last extraordinary session. The government says the passing of the final batch of bills will create 660,000 new jobs, but there are further concerns about a greater delay. The nine bills include a medical bill allowing telehealth services and a tourism measure that would relax restrictions on building lodging facilities near school districts. Korea's foreign exchange reserves have surpassed that of Brazil to become the sixth largest in the world, the first time to hit that mark in five years. Data from the Bank of Korea showed that the country's reserves rose to levels just shy of $370 billion in April, up $7.2 billion from the month before. The central bank attributed the boost to the appreciation of non-U.S. dollar currencies, such as the British pound, which gained 4.2 percent, and the Australian dollar, which is up 4.5 percent against a greenback. In the event of a key interest rate hike, Korean households may not be as in hot water with their interest payments on debt as generally feared. NH Investment and Securities released analysis on Thursday that showed the interest payment burden of households and the fourth quarter of last year was still 17.5 percent smaller than in the fourth quarter of 2011. Estimating that the overall interest payment burden has shrunk to $9.4 billion in the first quarter, an analyst said even in the event that the borrowing rate grows by a half a percentage point, the outstanding sum will still be lower than levels observed in 2011. If you ever wondered how the effect of Hallyu or the Korean wave could be measured, here's a story for you. The Korean Trade Investment Promotion Agency provided an analysis recently and found that the Korean wave is still very much profitable. Our Eunice Kim has the story. A domestic duty-free outlet. Korean cosmetics are still being snatched up in bulk by overseas visitors who swear by their masks, mists and serums. Product effectiveness aside, a joint study found that the effect of Hallyu, or as some would put it, Korean craze, is still very much helping homegrown industries. Production spurred on by Hallyu-inspired demand has been on a steady climb since 2011, last year clocking in a growth of 4.3 percent, with a bottom-line effect of $11.6 billion. The top three industries that benefited the most were gaming, tourism and food and beverage, though the sector that celebrated the biggest gain last year was cosmetics, registering a whopping 57 percent growth on-year on the strength of demand from Chinese and Southeast Asian tourists. The Hallyu effect didn't stop there. It was also credited with helping create more than 102,000 new jobs in Korea, while the export of Hallyu-injected content and goods also registered growth at 8.4 percent on-year. That's 2 percent higher than the country's overall export growth in 2014. As more and more of the world discovers the great attributes of Korean goods and culture, the country's trade promotion agency also hopes the love for all things Korean will help buttress small and medium-sized businesses that are waiting for their time to fly. Eunice Kim, Business Daily. At the recent ASEAN Plus 3 Summit of finance leaders from ASEAN member states and Korea, China and Japan and Azerbaijan, Asian countries have agreed to promote the use of a currency swap deal to avoid excessive dependence on the U.S. dollar. Let's take a look. 
Currency swap deals enable countries to exchange equivalent sums of money in different currencies, and they help bolster readiness against turbulence in financial markets. During the latest ASEAN Plus 3 summit, Asian countries agreed to use this swap deal to not only wean off dependence on the dollar, but also to facilitate local currency usage and trade settlements within the region. Some of the deals Korea currently has in place are with China and Indonesia, while Indonesia also signed a currency swap deal with China back in 2013. The three countries have agreed to first implement trade settlements with local currencies to kick off the broader currency movement within the region. How will this latest push for a regional currency swap affect the Korean economy and the Asian economy as a whole? And to tell us more about this, we're now joined by Professor Shin sang Hyup of Kyungi University's Graduate School of Pan Pacific International Studies. So good to have you with us this morning. Thank you. All right, so we've just heard about the basics of currency swap deals, mm -hmm. but how do they actually help the countries and how many does Korea have in place as of now? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, there are several uh, advantages for the national economy um, in the use of the uh, uh, currency swap system, I mean deal. The first one is that the government can hedge against the uh, our, um, exchange rate fluctuations. Stable and constant the exchange rate is very important for the development of national economy. Second one is actually they can reduce the liquidity crisis mm -hmm. to borrow money from other countries with its own currency. Well, in fact, this is very important. When the, a government needs some money uh, uh, without a swap system, a swap deal, mm -hmm. they should borrow the money from the international financial organizations such as IMF and I mean, the World Bank. Mm -hmm. But it takes a time. It takes a time and also it requires some additional uh, the works. But the, by having the currency swap system deal with the, uh, the major countries, or within the reason, they can reduce the liquidity crisis. And lastly, actually, uh, act, uh, by having this system, the national uh, economy can have some dynamism in itself because that when they forecast the, uh, the economic uh, the situation, the government can more efficiently implement the economic uh, policies. And at the, as of today, and the Korea has about the 90.5 trillion uh, the currency uh, the swap with five countries. The five countries are, are the China and UAE, United mm -hmm. Arab Emirates, mm -hmm. Malaysia and Australia, and Indonesia. Okay. All right. Well, um, we talked about in the beginning that ASEAN countries plus Korea, China, and Japan have mm -hmm. decided to promote the usage of currency swap deals yes. to not only reduce the dependence on the U.S. dollar, but mm -hmm. to also use them for trade settlements yes. in the region. I mm -hmm. mean, what kind of changes can we expect from this latest decision? Well, it's too early to say uh, the uh, what kind of exchanges we will have, mm -hmm. uh, but definitely there will be some changes in the way of payment in the trade, which can be in direct directly helpful for the countries in, within the region mm -hmm. promote their mutual trade. Mm -hmm. Because that, as you explained already, uh, for example, if there are some Chinese company which exports their products to Korea, mm -hmm. they will get the money, I mean the, the Chinese mm -hmm. Wien for their exports. Mm -hmm. And the Korean company which exporting their products to China, they can get the, uh, 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 the Korean one, I mean for their exports. This is the, uh, uh, one of the ways to reduce the so-called administration cost, export mm -hmm. costs. So indirectly on the long-term basis, uh, there can be an effect promoting mutual uh, the trade within the reason, I think. So you think this will bring about the desired effects? Yes, yes, but it will take a time. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, well, I'm talking about China. China has been signing currency swap deals with other countries, countries yes. and regions that have been facing financial mm -hmm. turbulences mm -hmm. and um, with hopes of, I guess, promoting its currency to more international investors. Right, right. Has this been working for China? Has it been bringing substantial results? Uh, they have making, so underline, making every effort mm -hmm. to uh, achieve the, the goals which you mentioned just before but as I said before it will take a time uh, but uh, let me tell you one of the very interesting uh, statistics figure well still China use uh, the USA dollar as a main uh, way of payment 
the uh, dependency rate on the China USA dollar is about 95 percent in their trade settlement, mm -hmm. which means they're for the payment of their imports and the uh, for the uh, money to get from the exports, 95 percent money uh, have been the USA dollars. Uh, this is this has been a long uh, long term practices in the uh, I mean the trade in China. So it will take a time for them to change mm -hmm. the people's uh, way of thinking. Still many Chinese. Uh, the uh, businessmen uh, really worry about the uh, risk takings in using uh, local currency. But at national level, government level, the Chinese government want to use, make the Chinese yuan as one of the international key currencies. So definitely the government will push every effort to mm -hmm. achieve this goal, I think. Well, let's turn our eyes back to Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, Korea has been signing currency swap deals with other countries as well, but some say that it hasn't really been bringing any significant results mm -hmm. from it. But mm -hmm. how can Korea uh, magnify the potential that these currency swap deals have and promote the usage of currency swap deals? Mm, that's a very important question, I think. Uh, well, the Korea, sh I mean, still we do not have a well uh, prepare the uh, so-called systems for implementation of the currency swap uh, deal. Uh, what I mean is that the uh, still are uh, in terms of institutions, um, the, uh, uh, we do not have uh, completed the institutions. Completed institution means that, well, make the people uh, feel this safe in using the uh, uh, swap deal so system. But we don't, I think uh, uh, we don't have uh, those kind of system yet. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of some efforts we have to make every efforts to achieve it. And secondly, uh, at the private level, I mean, the, the uh, many banks should have to develop new uh, the products mm -hmm. which uh, the, uh, promote people to use the local currencies in their trade settlement. Mm -hmm. Without those kind of the uh, development of new products, the, it will take a longer time to uh, the promote the uh, currency uh, swap deal uh, within the, uh, the reason, I think. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your insights today, Professor. We'll no, see you thank soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. All right, that brings us to the end of today's broadcast of Business Daily. We'll be back with more tomorrow, so don't forget to tune in then. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.